let's take a look at clip connections in Final Cut Pro 10. I've got an Audi commercial here and I'm just going to play part of it back to you. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot of sound effects that are associated with these flashback sections and it's quite a complex sound mix going on down below. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the clip connections. You can now see all these lines which connect every audio effect to the clip they're associated with. And what that means is if I want to pick up this section of flashbacks and swap it with this section over here, I can just go ahead, pick those clips up and move them across, and then pick the other clips up and move them back. And all the audio is carried with the picture and it doesn't collide with it. I don't have to manage any tracks. And I don't have to worry about anything being overwritten. So we'll just move down here and take a look at a specific shot. And I'm just gonna solo these two shots so we can see exactly what's going on. And I'm going to do that by selecting the clips and using option S to solo. And you can see that everything else has gone black and white now. So if we just play this back. So we've got this really nice rumbling sound effect, which is designed to go with this shot of the smoke here. Now currently the sound effect isn't connected to the shot it's associated with. It's connected to the shot before. So if I was to go ahead and pick up this shot and move it, the sound effect wouldn't move with it. So what we can do is, I'll just undo that. By holding Alt and Command and clicking on the audio clip, it's moved the connection point to the clip I want. So now if I move this clip, the audio goes with it. So that's quite a simple example, but let's go and have a look at a more complex one down here at the end of the timeline. So in this sequence, I've got a lot of shots building up to the end frame. And I've got these sound effects here which begin a couple of seconds before and ramp up to a crescendo. So let's just look at those on their own. Now because these two clips have been connected to the end frame, anything I do earlier in the timeline won't affect the relationship between those sound effects and the end frame. So if I extended this shot, or if I deleted this shot, these two audio effects are always in the right place. So as you can see, clip connections allow me to work really quickly and experiment with my edit. 